What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to some pro clubs. That's right, myself, Marshall Bateson, Luke aka Daily Render, Al Smizzle and Tobias Gaming and Lewis H90. If you remember him, I used to open his top 100 rewards over the last couple of years um, playing in some clubs. Uh, I tweeted out, like it always gets to that time of year where FIFA kind of like dies down, you know, and I start playing other games. But ultimately, I still love FIFA and for me personally... Clubs is actually my favourite game mode, even ahead of Ultimate Team. It's just a shame that EA just really haven't done anything with it um, over the last four, eight years, really. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's it's a really great game mode, and I have some great ideas for how they could make clubs better. And we'll talk about a few of those ideas here today. But first and foremost, I just wanted to show you guys basically the highlights of the goals um, that our team scored. What the idea might be behind putting up some clubs videos and um, just giving a you know a bit of a, a bit of feedback uh, for this. But this stems from playing clubs here on this channel. Stems from a comment from a couple of videos ago uh, from Andre McLean, and it's such a just such an awesome message uh, you know from my perspective. Before I read the message though, I uh, just wanted to show you that I the camera that I use on pro clubs is the player cam, so it tracks my player, so I don't get to see when we concede, because I typically play out front. And even sometimes I don't get to see my own goals fly in. You'll see one goal from me, a long shot that you didn't even see go in because the camera tracks my player and not the ball. Uh, it would be cool, as one of those features in pro clubs, it would be cool that when you shoot with your pro, it momentarily tracks the ball's progression rather than the player's progression. It would just be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, enjoy some of the gameplay from uh, some of Team Sweat. The comment reads, like the video just to support you, but man, I would rather the draft right now or some regular fuck weekly objectives and finally Fortnite. World Cup mode is just not pulling the swing for me. I will support whichever video you post though, mad love bro. And that message just in general was really, really awesome for me to see because it just... It was nice to know that I'd, I don't have to conform to content ideas to um, to get you you know to have you guys watch videos and, and ultimately uploading what I enjoy is what's going to be predominant over the next two months that we've got until the new FIFA comes. Um, it's actually like ten weeks, maybe even eleven weeks until the new FIFA. So we've got all of July, all of September. Uh, sorry, all of Ju all of July, all of August, and most of September, you know, like 20 days in September. So we've actually got probably 11 weeks to go until the new FIFA comes out. It wasn't until the 30th of July last year that I stopped the Xbox Road to Glory. I then started the PlayStation Road to Glory for like two or three weeks, and then I went into different stuff. But this year, the game has just died off so much earlier. And as I said, clubs is something that I genuinely love playing. Um, so I tweeted out a few days ago uh, that as a, as a joke that me and... And some of the boys that I play clubs with are going to go into VFL. And the response from like VFL, which is like the virtual football league, and there's, an, there's a few organisations for pro clubs, the responses were just overwhelming of people wanting us to come and play. And that's unique because normally if I tweet that I'm going to play COD or if I tweet that I'm going to play uh, you know, Fortnite or just any other game or, or sometimes even other game modes within FIFA, like when I talked about playing career mode a few years ago, I just get met with hostility. Stick to your own game, stick to your own mode, don't come and infiltrate our mode, that sort of stuff. But the clubs guys were just super welcoming. They were like, come and play our mode. Like, we want you here. And so what was started off as like a half joke tweet about, you know, going professional in clubs. Not that there's any pay there, not that there's any like big, it's, it's not, the, the club scene is not massive. Um, but as what started off as a joke tweet is actually something that I think myself and the guys that we're playing with are gonna gonna take quite seriously over the next um, two months specifically. So I thought, why not record some of the club stuff? Obviously, right now we're only in Division Five in this gameplay, but I thought, why not record some of the club stuff and put it up on this channel? Eventually, it will be live recorded as well, not post com gameplay. So you just get all the live reactions of everyone whilst we're playing the games. Um, but yeah, uh, if, if you guys want to see more clubs on this channel just for the next few months, make sure to drop a like on the video and uh, let me know that you're enjoying it. On top of that, there will be a lot more Fortnite coming as well. So on the main channel, which is kind of uh, what Andre wants, is going to be heavily draft uh, based now. You know, we're going to do, we're going to finish off this World Cup draft series that I've got going with skills. And then after that, we're going to do just regular themed drafts, trying to get some awesome cards out of drafts over the next uh, couple of months. And, um, you know, once FIFA 18, sorry, FIFA 19 news starts coming out, hopefully we'll be able to get some videos, you know, some informational videos on that with what's new, what's coming, what's going and uh, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, so clubs, guys, as I said, clubs is the game mode that I love the most. Uh, I actually like when 
kind of online gaming really started taking off, kind of like FIFA 09, FIFA 10. I used to play clubs with uh, a lot of guys that I met through the sports interactive forums, the football manager forums. A um, couple of dudes, probably about, oh, it must have been about 10 or 15 of us that used to play clubs every night for hours. And um, I just fell in love with the game mode. And in FIFA 10, I had played well in excess of a thousand clubs games, which, you know, right now as a content creator, playing over a thousand games isn't necessarily something that's like, whoa, a thousand games. But back then, as just a player with a full time job and just played in my spare time and just, it, you know, something that I did that I enjoyed the game with, um, it was, uh, it, it, a thousand games was a hell of a lot of games and it just showed the fact that clubs were so good. Now, again, sadly, clubs has just not been touched a lot in, in FIFA. And I think that obviously the main reason behind that is because it's not monetized as a game mode. But EA could monetize clubs so easily, they could introduce a ultimate team aspect to clubs whereby you can accrue credits or coins, you can buy FIFA points, and you can open packs for clubs. And in those packs, you can get players that are also in ultimate team. Uh, so instead of playing with, you know, F Fritz, at left back, you can go and get that brand new Ashley Cole at left back and play with him there. So obviously if you have an 11 man club, not a problem, you don't need those players. But for those of you that play with two or three or four or five people and you haven't any that's controlling anywhere from two to you know 10 players, having actual players in the game to have fun with would be a great addition and EA could monetize that. They could also monetize special boots, special kits. I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, we've had this debate on this channel already and I've had this debate on Twitter a couple of times over the last month or so. A lot of people believe that people wouldn't pay for boots because they're just too small, you can't see them. I, I personally disagree and I would actually buy unique boots. You know, if, if, if a really exclusive custom set of boots came out from EA in the, in the store, and it cost 100 FIFA points to buy them, I would probably just buy them because I'd be like, hey, I want these special boots on my, on my player. You know, if, if, if they allowed you to, you know, uh, there's not really much you can customize in terms of kits and stuff, but you could buy, they could just release new kits. You know how like um, Fortnite has skins, FIFA could have kits. So you could release, you know how we get all those special kits in FIFA, like the Foot Champions kits and the Halloween kit and stuff like that. They could just release those as paid kits and monetizable kits in this game mode where again, you know, every, every two days the store updates, there's five new like uh, custom kits in there. They're 200 FIFA points each and then one really exclusive kit that's a thousand FIFA points. And I guarantee you, that people would pay for that. But the reason why clubs as a game mode is, is generally not really respected very much is because it just doesn't get any attention. There's still bugs in this game uh, that have been in the game for years, so I hear. Um, and there's just no real push or no real platform for this game. And, and as a content creator, uh, multiple times when I have uploaded clubs in the past, it's generally way less viewed um, than Ultimate Team, which means it doesn't have a huge player base. But I think if they added in things like, again, you know, like an ultimate team, like rewards and coins and, and gave it a, an, a, a feeling of actually growing your club, not just growing your pro. I think this could be the most successful game mode because right now as well, the, 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 the gaming industry is heavily geared towards social gaming. All of the biggest games are games that you play with friends. FIFA is a, well, that's not true to a degree. There are some, you know, uh, single player games and, and some like, uh, some games that people can play and, and don't really play with friends. But generally speaking, every huge game, like if we went onto Twitch right now and went to browsing the categories, almost every single big game at the top would be um, would be uh, uh, um, co-op online. And that's Fortnite and that's League of Legends. And Hearthstone is actually a 1v1 game. That's RuneStone, uh, RuneScape, that's PUBG, that's Dota, that's Counter-Strike, that's Battlefield. That's, you know, World of Warcraft, Grand Theft Auto, Overwatch. All of these are games that you play with people, with friends, with people in general. Uh, FIFA, Ultimate Team specifically, doesn't have that. And and so first and foremost, having something like that in regular fuck as having online cart would be amazing. But just giving us something in clubs where there is something to work towards your club. So it's not about just, you know, getting up to Division 4, 3 or 2 and then resetting down to Division 10 to go and smack all the new clubs again and then getting up to Division 2 and resetting again because there's nothing to play for in clubs once you get to a certain a certain level and it's very easy to get to that level in clubs, sadly. So it'd be good if EA could, you know, put something towards clubs, put some time and energy towards clubs because I'm pretty confident that the way um, online gaming is right now and the way social gaming is right now, I'm pretty confident that clubs could 
completely, completely outclass Ultimate Team as a game mode and generate more revenue with a store-based system for unique items and skins that are purchasable by FIFA points and from a pack system that allows you to upgrade your club and your team through uh, opening packs. But uh, that's just my thoughts on clubs, guys. I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of opinions on it as well. If you could let me know your opinions down in the description, in the comment section below, it would be amazing. As I said, it's just a quick video here today with some games we played earlier. If you guys like this and, and it's well received, there will be lots more clubs and lots more Fortnite over the coming weeks. If this isn't really well received, it will be a lot of Fortnite and still new style soccer manager. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.